Hello, Olala families. I wanted to film a quick video to show you how you can help your student put books on hold so they can check things out from the library. If you are using your student's Chromebook, it will automatically open to the Hello ID page. If you are not, you can get there by going to the skschools.org webpage, clicking on this little gear, and it will take you to Hello ID. Now, you need to be logged in as your student, so again, if you're on a Chromebook, it will automatically go there. Otherwise, you need to make sure um, that your student is logged in. All right, to put a book on hold, you will need to go to the Destiny link. It's right here. Looks like this. It's a little orange and blue sort of oval shape. Click on that, and it will take you to the school library catalog it looks like this now you need to make sure your student is logged in a second time right up here log in it should bring up some choices click on your students um, quote unquote email address okay once you have logged in you should see your students initials up here and then you know you're logged in. Here's what the library catalog looks like. Right here in the middle are some links to different learning activities that I've placed in there. So lots of different things that your students can go to. They're, they're simply links to different sites on the web. To get to the books, you're going to scroll down just a little more, and there are a couple of different sections. This section here are recently added books. So despite us being out of school, I'm still adding new titles to the library. These are all new, and you can click over here if you wanted to scroll over, or you can click here on See All, and it will bring them up on your screen. Now you may notice that some of them have a, a little red banner on them that say out. That means that book is checked out currently. You can still put it on hold, but someone else is reading it. If it has an in flag, that means it's in the library and should be available, available to your student right away. Okay, so these are some new books I've just added to the library. The next section down are some topics. So these are um, their subject topics. So if you click on one of them, let's say you want to read some graphic novels. It's a very popular section. You click on that and it will bring up different books that fit into that category. Okay. The next section that you will find way down here at the bottom is popular titles. Okay, same thing, you see whether they're in or out. You can click to see all, or you can arrow over. If you know what book you are looking for, like let's say for example, your child is looking for Dog Man, you type in what you're looking for and click search. Here we go, there's some Dog Man books. So as you see, a lot of them fit right into Dog Man and we've got a couple strays down here. Now, if your student would like to put that book on hold so I can deliver it to their classroom, there are two ways you can do that. You can simply place hold by clicking on the hold button, or if you want to read more about that book, you can click right in the center, flip it over, and you can click more details, and then read a little bit about it see which section it's in in the library. You can put it in your favorites, which creates a list, and I'll show you in a second how to get to those. Or you can click right here to put it on hold, and it will give you a little message that you've put it on hold. Now, if that book is available, I will go into the library and I will pull it and deliver it to your classroom. No worries if you are a remote only student, I will put it on a cart up by the office and you can come pick them up at school. Kids that are remote, I typically send an email to let them know that those books are ready. All right, to find your favorites, you're going to go up to this little menu up here and click on my stuff. And then here's your favorites list right here. These are ones I've put in the favorites list. You can see which holds that you have. If you have any finds, you can click here.
Now, at this time, you may put, or your student may put up to five books on hold. So if you see a number five right here, that means the system will not allow them to put any more books on hold until I check out a set, and then it will um, take those out of that holds total and give your student an opportunity to put more books on hold. Okay, there's one last thing I want you to know about, and that is if you're wondering if your student has any books checked out currently, all you'll need to do is go right up here to where it says check out. So again, to get to that menu, you're gonna click right there on that little yellow box, click on checkouts, and now you can see all of the books I checked out, and you can see if they are overdue, if they are not overdue. If you accidentally put a book on hold that you do not want to have on hold, or if your student does that, unfortunately at this time it does not allow your student to unhold books, so you'll need to contact me. Um, you can just send me an email. It's wilsonh at skschools.org. You can also send a message through your class dojo if you have one, or through your Google Classroom. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me at that email address wilsonh at skschools.org. Thanks for listening.